This is a question for the Prime Minister. Voters have a right to know who is funding their candidates before they vote. The government has a long <laughs> real-time disclosure of all my donations. The government has a long-standing no, commitment order, to real-time disclosure. Order. The member will resume her seat. Same rules apply to everyone. There's going to be silence so questions can be heard. No matter what's being said, the questioner has to be heard in silence. And that goes for everyone in the chamber. So the member for Curtin will start her question again. Voters have a right to know who is funding their candidates before they vote. The government has a long-standing commitment to real-time disclosure of political donations over $1,000, but this hasn't happened because the government has indicated it wants opposition support on electoral reform. Time is running out to implement transparency Honestly. before the next election. Why won't the government make good on its promise and pass this legislation immediately with cross-bench support in both houses? We need transparency now. Call to the Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank the member for Curtin for her question and for her genuine commitment to transparency. Uh, we have, through our minister, uh, engaged in good-natured uh, discussion, good-faith discussion with the crossbenchers, uh, but also with uh, the opposition. Because what we want to put in place is electoral reform that lasts over a period of time, uh, that doesn't seek to uh, secure a political advantage for any particular side of politics or indeed for independents running as well. And I've had representation, as, as you would be aware, both in meetings I've had with the crossbench but otherwise as well, uh, from people who've been supportive of the crossbench, uh, about uh, the crossbench being enlarged if I can put it that way, uh, by uh, people who put forward different positions, different positions with regard to the range of transparency measures which we have historically support, supported. Uh, we do support disclosure uh, for all donations above $1,000. That's something that we, in fact, had in place, got changed uh, by the former uh, coalition government. It's something that we think is entirely appropriate. It is important to have uh, faith in the political system that we know where donations are coming from. And the billionaires funding the advance campaign of misinformation at the moment are a great example, are a great Order. example of where it is appropriate Order. to have members on my left. The Minister for, yeah. Minister for Climate Change and Energy. I thought they had nothing to do with it, thanks, <laughs> Mr Speaker. <laughs> nothing to do with it at all. It's very coordinated, the campaign, yeah. and it's an up. example. It's an example of where you see you know, the bloke who's trying to smile more and be a little bit nice and less nasty has the nasty stuff, more overt, being run by the advance campaign, so he can just run the little bit nasty stuff. It is important. It is important that transparency occurs. We're committed to it. Uh, we've received uh, the JSCEM report. Uh, we look forward to uh, acting uh, on it, but we do want to act in a way uh, that brings the maximum number of support for it. Because the fact is that on a range of issues, I can think of at least two that have been raised today, we can't get things through the Senate uh, because of uh, the coalition of the Liberals and the Greens blocking it. So that's why we want to Order. reach out Prime across Mrs. the chamber to make sure Time that any proposals are carried. 